battle. I mean, what state Iran would be in, in, in that uh, situation? So I think the, the, the higher oil uh, revenues, uh, in a way, has artificially kept Iran's uh, economy going. But uh, aside from that, I, I really don't think our economy can, uh, can be described as, uh, as very healthy. From the consumer's perspective, how, how bad is the situation? Well, every now and then there are uh, uh, all of a sudden uh, price increases in uh, lots of uh, uh, consumer uh, uh, product, uh, chicken, egg, uh, etc., etc. And the government uh, keeps saying to people that do not panic and it's, uh, it's some conspiracy by some uh, merchants who are related to foreign powers, etc., etc. But that's not good enough for people. The government in Iran uh, likes to, uh, to respond to the effect of sanctions by saying that, oh, it hasn't had any effect on us. We are thriving. We are going forward and the, the amount of uh, foreign investment uh, have been doubled and tripled uh, during the past year or so. But when you talk to uh, others, the other Iranian uh, who are involved at private section and, and at government or public section on trade, agriculture, industry, uh, uh, all sorts of uh, aspects of, of commerce, they say that it has had effect on, on, on our economy. There are, there are uh, we, we, we found it difficult uh, to uh, open uh, credit. We found it difficult to use the banking system. We cannot deal directly to our partner uh, in, in South Korea, in Japan, never mind Europe and, and United States. We have to mm -hmm. do it through a middleman, someone in, in, in Dubai, someone in Istanbul, someone even as far as Malaysia to, uh, to sort of bend the sanction. Obviously, the, 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 these are bound to have effect on, uh, on Iran's economy. I think basically Ahmadinejad's government lacks direction, lacks strategy, lacks planning, lacks cohesion, and uh, he sort of does the thing on, on literally daily basis. Uh, could, could you, Dr. Ziba Kalam, for, for the sake of our viewers, of course, uh, the, kindly amplify and detail those, those core issues that the government is uh, kind of short on? Well, for example, uh, uh, about four or five years ago, uh, I think uh, there was this uh, uh, 20 years uh, strategic uh, planning, and uh, Ahmadinejad is way behind. 20 years uh, planning. And when he was questioned on an interview on Iranian uh, national uh, television, he simply said that uh, the problem is that the country lacks infrastructure. In other words, what he's saying is that all those experts, <laughs> all those ministers uh, who gathered uh, at the uh, Expediency Council, they, they did not realize that what they had planned for, for the next 20 years, uh, the country uh, lacks sufficient uh, or, or the necessary infrastructure to, to, to carry that plan. And it's only Ahmadinejad who understands that. Many Iranians uh, feel that the, the standard of living is going down. And uh, now to say that Ahmadinejad has been uh, harshly criticized doesn't help. Uh, the breadwinner who, who have to feed uh, uh, their the, the children yeah. and their family. There are lies, there are damned lies, and then there are statistics, as the saying.